A warm welcome to the Lydia Live session for today. We are live on Facebook and just as we always do, we are here to talk about contraceptives, family planning and sexual reproductive health in general. Now, a lot of women spend so many years of their lives trying to prevent pregnancy and yet there's very little conversation about the topic, about um, family planning, sexual reproductive health, birth control, contraceptives. We are here to break that barrier. And so um, today's topic is uh, knowing your contraceptive options. We have this series in three parts. And so you are going to have to join us for today and then subsequently you join us for part two and part three. All right, so to help me to have this discussion, I have two certified midwives here with me, very lovely ladies from our Lydia Partner Clinics. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Um, on my immediate right, I have Miss Juliana Asabia Ohemi from Fosti's Maternity Home. What do you have Okay, okay. And, and then uh, I'm also Rita Ade from Sanford Health Clinic, Adenta. Adenta, yes. all right. All right, so they are partner clinics, and so if you want to see our lovely ladies to attend to you, well, you can visit them with your family planning and sexual reproductive health needs. We'll get right into it. Well, before we get into it, we want to make this program an interactive one. So kindly send in your comments, your inquiry. If you'd like to join the conversation, you can send it to our live feed. You can also join us on our social media platforms. On Facebook and Instagram, you can reach us on Lydia at Lydia Contraceptives. You can also call us on 1221. And then you can reach us on WhatsApp, 050-166-1660. All right, so we'll begin. Auntie Juliana. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what is contraceptive or contraception in general? What, what, what do we mean when we say contraceptive? Okay, thank you very much for your question. When we say contraception, mm -hmm. contraception is the act. I sit in my home. I decide I want to do something to prevent pregnancy. It is intentional. I have decided to take a method. Okay. So that's a deliberate act that I want to go to maybe Sanford to do something or ask a midwife mm. to give me a commodity to prevent mm. unwanted pregnancy or space my birth. That is the contraception. Okay. But when you talk about the contraceptives, mm -hmm. they are the commodities, the devices you okay. use to prevent the pregnancy. I want to cite examples. Yes, please when you do. talk about the contraceptives, we mm -hmm. have a lot. We have the pill, we have the injectables, we have the implants, we have the IUDs, okay. we have condom. It's also a contraceptive method. Yes. So briefly, that is what I will say. Right. about contraception and contraceptives. Okay, okay. So contraception is the act or the process to get contraceptives to prevent pregnancy. Sure. All sure. right, all right. But um, so why do people go in for contraceptives? What do they stand to gain? Or let me say, what are the benefits if they decide to go for contraceptives or contraception? Auntie. All right. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Auntie Rita. Well, I want to go back to contraception again, if you mm -hmm. don't. Yes. So, um, it's not always about the commodity. It could mm -hmm. be, but sometimes the techniques. It could be mm -hmm. a technique. It could be um, any act, any methods aside. So, we have those ones. Yes. Methods, okay. techniques, and others. All right. So, we are looking at benefits of contraception. Thank you again. So, people taking contraception because they want to space their childbirth. Right. So, you have partners who, have, who want to further the education and so they want to go in for a contraceptive okay. so that they can, you know, space their children, have enough time to go to school, learn a trade, do other things. And then people also, you know, these days people don't actually fancy unwanted pregnancies. Yes. Yes, I mean, you are there and then you just get pregnant. I mean, 
you see, society society wants you to get pregnant, but when it's unwanted, they are like, hey, you didn't take your time, that kind of thing. And it's so, for some people, it's so embarrassing. Let me, let me, I don't mean to interrupt, but you know, we get some of these um, calls or from our clients, they sound terrified, okay? And it's not just about the embarrassment, but I, I don't know, they don't know what to do about it. And then, so, for some people, it's like they want to die. Yeah. Yes. yes. So, well, this is one of the reasons that they want to go for, yes. they would want to go for to contraceptives. Go for contraceptives. But you mentioned spacing. So yes. this means that it's not just about stopping pregnancy. So you can decide to take a break for some time. Uh -huh. time if yeah. you have any uh, plans, yes. then you can take that break. That's, that's very insightful. Auntie Juliana, anything yes. to add in yes. terms of the benefits? Yes, from the benefits, there are a lot there of are benefits. There are no more, yes. The benefits, we have some that benefits the child. We have some that benefits the father. The mother, that's the woman herself. Even the family, the mm. society as a whole. Yeah. So I want to take it from the woman's uh, aspect. You see, the woman will carry the pregnancy. You see, African woman. You see a woman carrying pregnancy, carrying another baby at the back, carrying heavy load. It doesn't mean the woman didn't plan or something like that. Mm. Maybe she has not heard of family planning or contraceptives. So this woman decides that, well, now I want to space my children, mm -hmm. space the, the birthing process that I'm mm -hmm. going through. So with that one, she decides that, okay, I want to do it every two years or every four years. Yes. So now the woman, it will become an uh, important thing for her because she will space the children. Mm -hmm. She'll have time to work, get more money to support her husband. Mm -hmm. And in this, in this children. case, she doesn't even have to have one on her back, one on her lap. No. You know, by then, maybe one will be working, they will be sure. independent, sure. and then you'll be able to take care of the second sure. one. Mm. So, with that one, the woman is safe, she's okay, and then she continues with her life. Mm. It also helps the woman with the health aspects. Mm. When it, it, it gets rid of the endometrial cancers, the ovarian cancers, and so on and so forth. With the endometrial cancers, mm -hmm. you know some of the commodities like the IUD, you place it in the womb. When you place it there, it doesn't allow other things to go in the uterus, thereby reducing the risk of having those cancers. Please, do you get it? Yes, I do. Yeah. So with this, with, with this topic, let's not get too technical here. Okay. You know, but some people actually think that contraceptives are the cause of cancers. So your point is quite is debunking that that notion, yeah. and then so it means that contraceptives actually are able to resolve cancers, prevent prevent cancers. All yes. right, all right. That's that's very insightful to yeah. know. So um, how would you feel if if you're a businessman, you have opened your, I mean, your firm, and then women are just getting pregnant every she goes on maternity leave, six months she's pregnant. I mean, it will get to a time women will not be employed. It's true. Yes, this is, this will, is very true. Yes. And so when you have this contract, it helps. I mean, you can stay two years and then you come back again. It's, 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 it's good. It helps, I mean, like, economically, in fact, everything. Mm. Yes. And right. So, so as we are fighting for women empowerment, yeah. this is one of the ways in which we are going to empower ourselves. If, if we are going to have that uh, spacing where we'll be able to have other plans in place or other activities in our lives in place. All right. Um, uh, when you mentioned the health aspects, you know, um, I heard that it's, it's able to, there was something about bone thinning that contraceptives are able to, um, correct. yes, correct. Can, can you elaborate on that, please? Mm -hmm. with, that, with that one, it's a condition that's, uh, pertains to those with a sickle cell and all that oh, okay. osteoporosis and it's a condition that uh, comes with uh, those uh, illnesses so mm -hmm. when you, you you do the contraceptives or you 
you get your contraceptive example the pills mm -hmm. you know the pill we have the combined oral pills okay. that one comes with the iron supplement that's the um the Lydia Daily Oral Pill. People, yes, yes. the Lydia the Daily. Daily Oral Pills yes. has the iron supplements. Yes. Because it has the twenty one um active pills and then the red pills are seven. Yeah. Yes. So, so when you take that one, the woman takes it and it helps her to build her hemoglobin level, thereby reducing uh, the condition, that bone thinning. You understand? Okay. And then sometimes they have crisis. When they mm. have the crisis, they go through a lot of pain. Mm. It's as a result of maybe circulation or something going wrong with the bone. So okay. it really helps in the bone thinning. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. All right. So, well, uh, I'm, I'm very much informed and educated. <laughs> But, you know, Auntie Juliana mentioned that, you know, it, the benefits can go to the woman, it can go to the child, it can go to society. Let's look at the child. So, how is the child going to benefit from um, family planning? All right, thank you. So, we, we as midwives, mm -hmm. I mean, professionally, we believe that if a woman gives birth today, mm -hmm. And then she waits until two years. We, we, we believe that, or we know that by then, the nutrients that she needs mm -hmm. to carry another baby all has come back. back. Okay. Because once you deliver, you have to go through a process and all that. And so by two years, you have fit, both your womb is fit, your mm -hmm. body as a whole is fit to carry another healthy baby. baby. Okay. Okay, so if you don't space them, the the likelihood that you are going to have babies who are unhealthy is there. Okay. Okay. So they come, you bring forth, and then they they are sick. They in fact sometimes they die. Wow. Yes, sometimes they die. So when you space them, it helps you the mother to give birth to healthy babies, and it saves you a lot of money mm. because if your children are getting sick every time, I mean. That's yes, really yes, yes. It's quite distressing to even yeah. hear about it. So, uh, people, we need to get well informed about contraceptives and take them at heart because the issues that are associated with not spacing your birth can be devastating. Um, but what about society? The society in general, what do we stand to benefit from, from contraception? Okay. Um, with the society, as, yes. as Sister Rita said, mm -hmm. when you have a firm, all women firm, all women getting pregnant. Yes. <laughs> Every year, you have like 10 women, mm -hmm. all of them are pregnant, going on maternity leave. Who is there to work for productivity? Mm -hmm. There is no one. Mm -hmm. So with that one, the society suffers. Yes. Let's take it that when you are working in a government firm, mm -hmm. who is there to work? For the government to, I mean, get money, like to pay, to pay yes. yes, to pay yes. us. There is no one, so the mm. the society itself, the government suffers. Mm. That is why when you go to government firms, we we, we blend it. Yes, we, we have men and then we have women. So if the women are taking the contraceptives, mm. it will it will help them to reduce the maternity leaves so that mm. they can work hard for yeah. government to get a lot of yeah. money. You but understand. I also want to look at it from this angle. You know, if we have a lot of unwanted children, they are going to be a burden on society. Okay, government is going to spend so much, they are going to be um, in their orphanages. Children. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And so they become a burden on society in general, okay. on families who are also not maybe financially stable yes. and all that. The, 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 major, the major point here is economical, but... Definitely, it's, it affects society in general. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, um, um, well, you know, from our previous sessions, we've mentioned that um, contraceptives are able to correct menstrual disorder. Okay. Auntie Rita, how so? How is it able to do that? All right. So, thank you. Um, you know, we have... At a point in a woman's life, for some people, they have menstrual disorders. Mm -hmm. And so, um, 
it has to do with the hormones not being stable. And you know the daily oral pills, the Lydia daily oral pills has, contains hormone. Mm. And so for women who have hair around there, mm. yeah. Yeah, some mm. people have masculine features. Oh yes. Yes. Yes, and then they have hair around their the chest. chest area, abdomen and all that. Okay, so when you give them the oral contraceptive, the mm. Lydia daily oral, mm -hmm. it's, it contains hormones and so it's able to correct it. Okay, it's able to correct it, correct the menses because there are some women who for like three months, they don't like three up to even a year, you know, mm. they, they've not seen their menses. Not because they are on any commodity, but yes. because of the way their hormones are unstable. Okay. So to add on, yes. you know you have uh, the Lydia Daphne. Yes, yes. So that when one, she mentioned the, yeah. the male features, I was yeah. going to bring in that. The male fe features we call the hirsutism. Okay. We, I'm not being technical as such, oh. but then we have to <laughs> add it for, yes, yes. for the public. Mm -hmm. So those who have the hirsutism, that is what she explained, having mm -hmm. the hair, the beard, the chest, and mm. hair on the chest and all that. The Daphne yes. corrects those conditions it reduces the hair and it's it, it controls the hormonal level and then it suppresses the male hormones in mm. the woman and then the female ones will just be uh, higher than the male mm. ones so that the woman can have normal menses and then the normal mm. cycle mm. to be able to be fertile okay yes okay okay Okay, okay, so children. we don't mean to alarm you if you have irregular menses. It could be caused by your diet, it could be natural, but um, we can correct it with a daily oral pill. That's a Lydia daily oral pill. So that, um, and those don't... with the hirsutism, yes, the, <laughs> the hirsutism is it's a bit too heavy for <laughs> so some those of us who have the hairs, <laughs> the hair, the beard, and all that can use the Daphne. Okay. The Lydia's Lydia Lydia Daphne. Daphne. Yes. Okay. Okay. So before we carry on, like I mentioned earlier, you can join in the conversation by sending in your comments on our live feed. You can also join us on uh, on Facebook, on Instagram as Lydia Contraceptives. You can call us on one two two one, and then you can reach us on WhatsApp zero five zero one six six one six six zero. Um. Well, for the main purpose of, of the conversation, we would like to, you know, talk about the types or the options that you have as a woman in terms of contraceptives. Okay. Sorry. Auntie Rita, can Thank you, you can you take us in? Yes. So with the contraceptives, we have the short method contraceptives. We have long term or long-term method contraceptives. Okay. And then we have the permanent contraceptive okay. or permanent method. Okay. So for the short methods, we are looking at Lydia daily oral pills. We are looking at Lydia dolphin. We are looking at case condom. We are looking at Fiesta condom. <laughs> we are looking at Cyana Press. So, I mean, Cyana Press, for now, it's being made easier where a woman can come to the facility, get about four maximum, and then go to the house. You are being given the date. When the date is due, you can inject yourself. Because we take them through it. Wow. So, yes. self injection self at the comfort of your home. home. You don't need to come to the facility all the time. It sounds very convenient. Yeah. Why are you not taking advantage of this? Yeah. <laughs> because you find women complaining, I mean, just dance, coming to the yes, yes. not having time. Mm. And so we give it to you, you go back, stay in your home mm. and reject yourself. And then we also have, for the short method, we are still talking about the short yes, method. Yes. We also have um, Depo-Provera, mm -hmm. it's also an injection. And then we also have Norigine, oh. it's also an injection. Okay. For the long-term contraceptive methods, we have the IUDs, and so for that one, we have Lydia, you know, I safe look, I mean, cup of tea. and then we also have the Lydia Sleek, yes, and for the, both of them are non-hormonal, 
Okay. The difference is that the IU, the copper tea, when it's put or placed in the room, lasts for 10 to 12 years. Okay. And then for the slick or the Lydia slick, when it's placed in the room, it lasts for five years. Mm. So that's the difference. So All right. People... So basically the IUD is placed in the womb. Yes. Is it surgical? No, it's not. A very simple procedure. I'm, I'm sure by now would have now like 20. <laughs> yes, I would have now like 20. Very, very simple. It doesn't even last more than five minutes. Okay. Yeah. And then we also have the implants. Mm -hmm. For the implants, we also have three types, three. We have the Lydia level plants. We also have the implantal NST and then the chatter. Okay. okay. And, so the, and the with the implants, how is it, how, what, what do they, is it a pill? Okay, so they are just raw, very soft ones. So for the, um, the, the level plants, they are two, they come in the two. Mm but just small I and mean, it's small and it's placed under the skin just here. okay i think i've seen that one yes it's like a matches a match Gold. match stick yes okay white <coughs> sorry white in color mm -hmm. yes and then for the um implant or nsd it's just one rod that one also lasts you for th three years okay it's also placed under the skin okay. and then the chadel also comes in two rods placed under the skin for five years Okay. Yes. So if you decide, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but if you decide to go for the IUD or the implants, let's say um, after a year or two, I change my mind and uh, now I want to get pregnant or now I'm married, so I want to get pregnant. What do I do? You come to the facility for us to just remove it and help you. Meaning it's, it's, it's reversible. It's reversible. And we also spoke about the permanent matters. Okay. Yes. And then that one, we have the tubal ligation for the women. For women who do not want to have children again. So that one is done permanently. I mean, you can't come back again and then. And so those <laughs> ones, consent forms are being signed. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then for the, we, the men, we have vasectomy. Yes. And it's also, I mean, a permanent method. You can have children, but of course you can perform as a man even after vasectomy. Yes. <laughs> so we encourage more men to come and do the vasectomy. All right. Okay. So this is very insightful to know. If you have made that decision that you do not want to have children again, there's that option for you. For the men, we have the vasectomy, and for the women, we have the. Uh, tubal tubal ligation. ligation. Okay, too many terms for us today. <laughs> All right, so um, please, I want to add something to the mm -hmm. benefits. Uh, I want to talk about teenage pregnancy for the contraceptives. It yes. prevents teenage pregnancy. Yes. So with this one, I think the uh, mothers should bring their active girls. When I, when I say active, I mean sexually active girls to the facility. We counsel them mm -hmm. to take a method because when the girl becomes pregnant, she will be anxious to terminate the pregnancy. And sometimes they end up having the unsafe abortion, mm -hmm. causing mortalities. Yes. So we want to reduce the mortalities. Therefore, we will encourage the young ones to come to the facility for the contraceptives so that we can get rid of the unsafe abortions. All right. Yes. Okay. That's very important. And this is, it, it, this goes to um, our parents, our guardians out there. Try and get close to your children, especially the adolescents. Try and get close to them, get to know what they are thinking, what do they know. You can guide them and then if they are sexually active, just as Auntie Juliana mentioned, you can bring them to our facilities. Let them choose um, the op any of the options that we have talked about today, which would be convenient for them to be on. And all these problems associated with, yeah. you know, family planning, all, all the Contraceptives. Yes. We can avoid all these things. Yeah. All right. So just as I mentioned before, 
don't forget that this show is very interactive we need to have this discussion together so join us on our live feed you can send your comments your queries your inquiries your questions any anything you have to say uh, any comments you have to add to us you can send it to us you can join us on 1221 by calling us you can whatsapp us 050-166-1660 and you can reach us on our social media platforms at Lydia Contraceptives on Facebook and on Instagram and on Twitter as well. Um, Alright, um, I also want to add something yes. to what she said. Um, she spoke about, my sister spoke about at sexually active girls mm -hmm. and i'm also looking at sexually active boys exactly because lydia have products that can do the for them we are not preventing pregnancy but we are we are also preventing stis when i talk about stis i'm talking about sexually transmitted infections, infections. Mm -hmm. and so for them though we are not pre we are not preventing the pregnancy but we are mm -hmm. preventing them from getting their stis which can also make them infertile in the future Wow. And so they can also come to us mm -hmm. for us to educate them, know the method they can use to prevent mm -hmm. the STIs. All right, all right. So males, you are not left out. Auntie Rita says you need to also come for us to choose a method for you. You are going in for the condoms, right? Sure. Yes. 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 But then you, you we know to... that since you have sisters, you have partners, you have girlfriends, you have lovers. And um, it's, it's best that you are all well informed about your contraceptive options so that we can all advise ourselves. All right. All right. So we will have to bring this session to an end for today. Um, we are going to continue the discussion um, in, our, in our next live session. So, but for now, you can, you can send in your comments and your questions so that the next time we meet, we can address them all. Now, we haven't forgotten that the, live, the last live session we had, uh, we promised some goodies to the first 10 people who are going to comment. And I have the list here. I'm going to call out their names. Kindly contact us in our inboxes. You can also call us and give us your contact and we would give you your rewards. So um, I have here, the first person is uh, Unruly Lodap. Okay, the name you use on social media is Unruly Lodap. You can call us. Um, I have Ama Nyako, um, Ama Cash Out, Joshua Blay, Gariba Fata, Fatahia, Okay, please forgive me if I, I am making any errors in mentioning your name. Um, there's Atipo, Atipo Olivia, um, Ajwa Critical, Alfred, <laughs> Alfred Akosa, Agnes Pokua Dakon, and then Prisla Agubila. Okay, Prisla Agubila. <laughs> Prisla Agubila. Okay, so I'll go through the list again. I'm really load up. Ama Nyako, Ama Cashout, Joshua Blay, Gariba Fatahia, Atipo Olivia, Ajwa Critical, Alfred Akosa, Agnes Pokua Dako, and Empresla Abugila. <laughs> Alright, so um, get in touch with us and we will send in your rewards very, very soon. So, so we make a date at the same time. Um, on our next live session. It's bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye.